Hi, and welcome to How to Build Your Website in Less Than 10 Minutes. Once in it's a web host, extend control panel, you click on Web Builder, and this is where you end up. I'm just going to quickly delete the previous website by saying Start Over. Once you say Start Over, you start from scratch. Choosing between personal and business, I'm going to choose personal today because I have a theme already um, decide, that I've decided on, I'm going to use, just to show you there are many themes to choose from. Once you've chosen your theme, colors is the one that I chose, you can change the colors, decide on the color that you feel suits your website best. Once you've decided on the theme, uh, you have to fill in your personal details. First, your full name. You will notice I don't fill in the email address because that will put your email address on each of the pages on your website, which will only invite spammers to spam your mailbox. Put in the name of the website and then start typing the keywords. These keywords are pertinent to your website. In other words, if people are looking for a website specifically in the line that you are in, what keywords will they most likely type in to find you? And then uh, enter a description of your website. This is what will show up if or when somebody searches for your website and find it on Google, this description will um, be the one that they see. Um, just telling them a little bit more about the website. So something small, short, and uh, descriptive. I'm going to start with a flash splash page. You'll see that there's a scratch pad. On, on my scratch pad, I've um, laid out how I'm going to go about this. first page I'm designing is a flash splash page. And there are a couple of options. I'm going to choose this sunrise option. And you can, uh, you'll see what it does afterwards uh, in the preview. Just write a small description if you wish. You know, you can leave it open. I'm just writing the welcome to the Wise Guy TV website. And uh, at the bottom, you can choose your copyright message. Or just write it in. Copyright 2010 at you know, wiseguy.com. And then let's see what it looks like by clicking next, and there you go. But that is what people will see when they first come to your website. A little flash, splash the screen. Some of the screens you can enter some pictures, etc. Obviously, you don't want the page title to read splash, splash, so I'm typing in a welcome. Call it my welcome page. And there you go. And that's the way it looks like your welcome page. On the settings side, you can just change the button text. That's the text that will be on the buttons on the left side or on the right side of your website where we put it, and then also just change the URL of the page because otherwise all the pages will be called the same. Okay, that's done. Welcome to the Wise Guy TV website. Let's add another page. You'll see that I have on my uh, scratch pad, I've decided that I'm going to do a home page. So I'm just going to choose an about page because the about page gives you the option to add text and some um, images if you wish. Just remove that heading because otherwise you're going to have a couple of headings saying about. Change it to home. And then if you click on the full screen editor, it will take you to a word-like editor where you can add images, you can change the text, you can um, bold it, etc. I've prepared some text in a .txt format for the website. Um, it's always a good thing because you have, an, uh, you know, you can have changes or you can see mistakes that you've made, etc. Just uh, copy the text, and then uh, once you're in the full screen editor, um, which I'm going to now, you can then just um, Control V, and that will insert the text into that page. I'm choosing center to center it on the page. Enter that. Okay, and then you'll see that I've got two little options there. The one says block. I'm just going to add an image there that I've got on the computer, which will, you know, tell people that they can go to my blog. Once I've added that, I can add a URL to the image, which means that somebody can just put it in the center of the page, and then add the URL where my blog is located, so that people can easily get to it. And then once I've done that, I click insert and. Voila, the picture is active in my website. All right, there you go. Add it, and you'll see that it will get in there. All right, the next thing uh, is to say videos, and uh, I'm just going to add 
uh, little image there. I will show you to my YouTube channel where I've got a lot of videos on where people can, can have a look at some of the comedy videos that we have, etc. Good. I've got a little image there of, uh, that says subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, the URL will direct it there. Obviously, that's the wrong URL. Let me just start to take that out. I've prepared uh, the URL on my text pad, so I'm just quickly going to copy that and paste it in there. And uh, once I've inserted that, the image taking you to my YouTube channel will be ready to go. In settings page, once again, just change the button text, otherwise it's going to say about, and also the URL that will say home. Sometimes when you're in the rich editor, it takes away in the background. So I'm just going to add the background back in, maybe take a note of that. The background of that, this website is all the Ds. So when we view that now, there you go, the home page is ready. And you'll see that there are links to the different uh, websites that I've put on there. Cool. Let's add another page. Now we're going to do the About page. This is just about myself as the owner of the website. You can say something about your business or about yourself, etc. In this case, we're going to leave the About heading because it is actually the About page. Click on the full screen reach editor again. Then go to my text, which I've prepared for the about page. I'm going to copy all of that. And then, once again, control V in the rich text editor. And just sort of center it on the page again. Control V. And there you go. All the text is inserted. In this case, I'm not going to add an image because there is the option to add an image on the edit settings page, which is right there. I'm going to click on that. And um, first of all, the settings. Okay, we're going to leave all that the same, go back to the editing, click on the add image, and you'll see that once you've added some images, a gallery appears, and it's called your gallery, and uh, all the images that you've added are in there, I've already added this previously, I'm going to use that one, and insert it, and if I view the page, you'll see that on the about page, there is now an image of myself, and uh, just a little story of what I do, and then contact page, this is the final page we're going to add, and that is, uh, in this instance, we're going to use the survey form. If you use the business option there, you will actually have a contacts page ready set up for you. In this case, we can change the title to contact us. And uh, obviously, we're going to have to change the title of the page and also the button text. And then, uh, yep, let's just type in the email address. This is the email address to where the contents of the form when somebody fills it in will be emailed, and then the heading will be the heading of the email that you receive in your mailbox. So you need to know where that comes from, and uh, it obviously comes from the form that you've got in your website. So just change that so that you know you might have more than one email address or more than one website that you want to know from which one it comes from. We're going to put in a field that says name, and we're going to choose a well, one-line box, and then we obviously want to know what the email is, or the person who wants to be website's email is. So I'm going to put in another field called an email address, and there's actually an email button there which will create a little email box for you. Uh, automatically, we would, might, you might have a newsletter, so you might want to, somebody to, you know, to ask them whether they want to receive your newsletter or not. Just type in the question, do you wish to receive our newsletter? Yes or no, and there's an option, tick it, yes or no. And uh, once you've clicked that, the option will come up on your contacts page. And next, and then you, somebody might want to leave you a comment on why they are writing to you. So just leave a comments box there if you want to. Call it comments. And uh, choose the multiple line option. And 4 and 28, 28 rows are basically the same. Yet. That's the normal window of the other ones that you've got there, just to make it look nice. If you click on next, um, your contacts page will appear, and you will see that it's ready. And those are just uh, replies to uh, what they will receive once they're filled in the box. And there you go, and contact us. Voila, your website's perfect. All you have to do now is click on the Publish button on the left-hand top, and it will, within literally a few seconds, it will be right there on the Internet for anybody to go and visit. And this is the way it will look like uh, in the